Hello everyone, this is Lim AK here, and I'm playing a little bit of Warp. So this is a fairly interesting, like, stealth puzzle action game thing. Again, the genres are going to get more confusing. Yeah, I'm just load up here. And find this little orange guy here. And I'm trying to make my way out and escape this facility and there are people with guns and my main power is just the ability to teleport which you know seems fairly innocuous but that's if I wait till this guy comes within range I can blow him up like that by shaking the left stick which I should keep in note I'm playing this with a controller because the keyboard controls completely suck and as the UI has been sort of like poorly ported over to the PC to the point where the mouse does basically nothing you can't even click like the menu buttons with them which is fairly lame and scattered around levels you'll sometimes reach challenge missions I have yet to I should probably have read what that was well, let's restart that one. But I've yet to score anything above a bronze quite yet, and so far it's just been brag people and. Right, I'm supposed to kill you. And my only objective just Oops. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Let's just back to the main game. But you know, that's roughly what the challenge is supposed to be. If it wasn't you know, fairly terrible, I probably would have done it. And the humans have put up barriers, so and ow, that was actually quite painful. I didn't want to. So these things sort of like stop my ability to teleport. And apparently, these guys not very big on water. So I need to find a way to disable that power field. Probably this way. Yep. I can make it there. Ow. Okay. So teleport. So it's a lot of this. Like trying to figure out. What's the best way to get through? I wonder if I can can't go that way. It's my teleport doesn't take me that far. So this way again. Huh. Conveniently left that destroyed for me. So wait for that turret to just come round. gonna turn so I can just inhibit it now and then inhabit now. and you get grub which you use to do upgrades every now and then and you know I can bring up the world map by pressing Y and you know, this is just this level um, so presumably that giant great big star is where I'm supposed to be going a checkpoint and this is you know relatively cool let's blow them up let's try to find the other side and you know these scientists you know they're going to try and press the alarm button which is right here on the wall and then other people are going to come and try and kill me and one of the really fun neat touches is like when you blow someone up you get covered in blood and then when you teleport, it just falls to the ground, which is lovely and slightly morbid of me. Slightly overdramatic. 
So this is like the power source that would have been activated if they actually pressed the alarm and then probably lock me in here, spawn a few guards. Can you, well, some of the times you can actually fight your way through, you know, actually hide and take out enemies, but sometimes you can't, so it's usually best to just not let them actually hit their arm in the first place. Yeah, you can hide in barrels and such to hide. Uh, not sure where I'm supposed to go. Probably. So you can see, like, as long as he's facing me, I can't jump into him. But as soon as he turns around, I can. So, yep, you can sort of delightfully. Up. And there was some grub over here, so I'm going to try and get that if I can find a way around. I heard a noise. What was that? Uh, that... Okay, that, oh, no. that door. Not again. So let's blow him up before he tries to set an alarm off. I don't know where the nearest alarm is. It's probably something I should actually try to figure out. But yeah, they're all trying to use water barriers, and this is the level where they first introduced it. So I expect they're kind of going to just be everywhere. That's just one of the. Bonus it like item destroy. I assume the later levels they're going to be a bit more hidden. They unlock things like concept art and so on. Not a huge deal, but if you're into that sort of thing, then huh. I didn't see any. Well, that might be a room I need to um, actually have more powers to get into. So there have been has been a room at least once in the past that I haven't been able to found a way in. So presumably I'll have to come backtrack at some point, but I am not sure. Which way are you going? I do teleport and explode you. Well, I'm probably not going to get past that turret. Is there anything there? Rats, there is. Haha, <laughs> victory. Oh, I have to kill that turret again, don't I? Rats. Okay. So let's not explode the world. Ah. Oh. Presumably, I should be able to make my way down. Or am I just not supposed to be here yet? Okay, clearly not supposed to be here yet. Where does that cable lead? And there's going to be a power source, and I'm going to need to destroy it. Oh. Rats. Hmm. Oops, nope, supposed to bring up the map. Okay, right, that's fair enough. Just supposed to come this way. Hmm. Blast it all to heck. Uh -oh. Huh, it might have been beneficial for me to come this way first. Uh, 
this game does have a quite a nice sense of humor. Why are you acting funny? Ow. This is all just a dream. Hmm. Not quite sure how I'm supposed to get through here. Maybe I'm just supposed to set one off and then hide again. Looks like a decent plan. So I'm gonna let that one light. And then I'm just gonna wait for them all to explode. Hello. Goodbye. But it's nice little details to it. I'm not sure how long this game is. It might be quite long or it might be quite short. Just set that off and teleport into somewhere safe. Okay. And these are, well, probably nothing. Yeah, I don't think those are anything. I'll leave them alone. But I'm quite enjoying this. Um, you know, bad PC port aside. Like, let me just go to the options menu and like no graphic settings to speak of at all maybe it's like out of game but I didn't see any um, so the fact that in one place I got like 10 frames a second I would have quite liked to turn some graphic settings down so I could actually play the darn game um, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be oh, actually let's check that room up there I can probably just teleport through this glass uh, not sure what the heck just happened there. I assume there's supposed. To... Uh, right. That's a hilarious bug. Yay, grub. Right. No idea what that bug was. Probably just to do with a cutscene and just didn't despawn that object. But let's come back here and. Let's see if I've had any luck opening this door. No? Hmm. I wonder if there's something that I'm just missing. Oh, right, I am. This event! Huh. Okay. Well. Um. Really? Zero. Well, clearly that's the correct way to do it, but maybe I need to be a clearly I need to be a little bit faster. I haven't had too much like really reaction time based stuff like that. Um, I hope it doesn't get way more complicated than that because that's going to get quite annoying. I've generally found like things like this work well when you have really clever puzzles as opposed to like really require fast reaction times. But yeah, one or two of those is fine. As long as I don't get too more much more complicated than that. And ah, convenient. This is an upgrade station. And see, I've been sort of, I've been sort of saving my points. I've wanted, well, more of these higher level powers, rather than like the cheap ones, which make me slightly more stealthy. But I think that's a pretty good place to stop it. If I just, let's, you know, let's get fast warp, and then, yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah. This has been Warp. I think this game's pretty cool. Um, you know, bad port aside, I believe it is on at least Xbox Live Arcade as well, if I'm not PlayStation Network as well. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This is Bye, guys.